planet, one house at a time. Hydrogen-powered homes might be the coolest and newest technology around, but even solar power is undergoing a revolution. We're trying to utilize the sun to its fullest extent to create energy to run all the systems of this house. This house in Colorado is powered entirely by solar energy. That might not be new, but this is. The tubes on this roof are an amazing new technology, which could make obsolete conventionally powered water heaters and home heating systems. They're called solar evacuated tubes, and they're made up of rows of vacuum sealed transparent glass cylinders. Inside each one is a fluid, like an antifreeze, that absorbs solar radiation. The antifreeze is directed to the basement, where it will heat up the 600-gallon super-insulated hot water tank. That will heat the house and supply all its hot water, without the need for gas or electricity. When it comes to heating your home and hot water, say goodbye to gas and electric bills. The efficiency of this system is so much better than a standard system because we're able to pull that hot water from the roof for most of the heating needs and as it is entirely solar powered so there's no call for gas, there's no call for electricity. Looking great. In the backyard, finishing touches are being put on solar panels which will supply all the electrical needs of the house. Put that corner down first and then like that. It's a 10 kilowatt system. Anytime the sun is shining, we're going to be producing 10,000 watts of electricity and that will more than supply what they're using at any time during the day. Over its lifetime, the array will eliminate the need for power plants to produce over 28,000 pounds of carbon dioxide. And to absorb that amount of carbon dioxide, you'd need to plant almost four acres of trees. When the sun is out, their electric meter will be spinning backwards. And as it spins backwards, it will reduce the amount of energy that they're paying for. In the end, you know, it's a net zero home. And that means this house is actually supplying energy to the power company. Jim's house, drawing all of its power naturally from the sun, is just another small step towards saving the planet. But can even more raw energy be coaxed from the sun? Could solar power provide all of the energy needs for our homes someday? To find out, you need to come here to the world-renowned National Renewable